Hello, my name is Rocket and welcome back to episode 4 of my Pokemon Fire Red Omega Hardcore Nuzlocke attempt number 2. So last episode we defeated Misty, we went through the Nega Bridge, we went through Route 5, we went through Route, through route 6 and we got a few new encounters. And today, uh, ideally we'd be Lieutenant Surge, but I'm pretty sure we're probably only going to be able to do Route 11 and um, SSN. So the first thing we're going to be doing is actually talking about the Vermilion City encounters like we were supposed to um, last episode. So if you go to this house, which is very important, you will get the Good Rod. And the Good Rod is very important for right now. So let's go straight on ahead into the Vermilion City encounters. So by fishing here with the Old Rod, you will get either a Whalmer or a Staryu. Now we already talked a little bit about both of them. Staryu is absolutely insane. You can probably beat the Elite Four the, the first time just with Starmie. Uh, mostly just with Starmie. It's just absolutely insane how powerful the Pokemon can be, especially if you EV train it on HP or, or, or on, on special attack and speed. Uh, Whalemer, I already talked about him. He's a yeah, very generic, bulky water type Pokemon, but still fine, I guess. But this is very, it gets interesting. By fishing here with the Good Rod, now we can get Good Rod encounters. We can get either a Corefish, uh, a, a, a Krabby, or a Dratini. So, Corefish is a pretty okay encounter, you know, he's a... Uh, I would say I love Corefish, I love Crawdon because it's a darn type Pokemon, <laughs> but I don't think he's very good. I'm uh, With Dark being full special in Generation 3 might help Crawdon. I honestly am not aware of his move pool, but um, yeah, I don't think he's going to be the best option for you. Then you get uh, Krabby. Now Krabby, oh, I love Kingler, I love Krabby. But I think Kingler is more of a physical attacker. I think he has higher attack than special attack, which means he's kind of in a weird position, especially in Generation 3. Well, by being a pure water type, and all the water type moves being special in this generation, it makes Kingler kind of bad. And you know, he needs to resort for, for like physical moves, like normal type moves, like, like Slash, just so he can actually utilize his high attack stat. So, uh, you know, I think it doesn't really help him. I think Kingler is kind of in a bad position Generation 3, so it's definitely not a good Pokemon to get. But then we have the Dratini. Now, the Dratini, obviously very good Pokemon to get here. Um, it's a rare Pokemon to find. It's a pretty interesting type. Dragon. Not only that, it's a very good Pokemon, especially for right now, because we can, you know, we can use him on Lieutenant Surge because uh, Dragon resists Electric type. Not only that, Dratini learns Dragon Rage by level up, which means he does 40 flat damage uh, every time he, we use Dragon Rage, which is pretty darn good, especially in the earlier stages of the game, between like level, I don't know, up until level 30, maybe not even that high, maybe like 25 to 30 max. Uh, Dragon Rage is very useful. 40 damage can be really insane. So obviously Dratini is a really nice choice. And when we get to a Dragonite, it's obviously very useful. So yeah, that's the encounter we kind of want to get in, in, in Vermilion City, the Dratini. That's the really interesting encounter. But obviously there's a problem. We have a Corefish, and we have a Krabby that we can also get. So the way... Oh, before I talk about that, we also have the Grass encounters. So in the Grass, we can get uh, Apom. So Apom is pretty bad. Um, you know, it's just not very good. Doesn't even have evolution. Doesn't really have anything going for him. So, I really like A-Bomb, but he's just not much to say, really. He's just not good. And next up, we have Pidgey. We already talked about Pidgey. Pretty bad. Uh, then we have Wingle. So, Wingle, in attempt number one, I actually got a Winger, a Wingle. I got a Pelipper. And I absolutely loved it. I really started liking Pelipper as a Pokemon. Um, before that, I was just like, whatever, you know, it's just there. But after using a, a Pelipper in my attempt, number one, he did so great. I really started really feeling attached to the Pokemon, and I absolutely love that. I think it's pretty decent. It has pretty high defense. You know, it's a water flying type, which is a pretty interesting typing. Um, so yeah, now it can also learn some pretty interesting moves. But the thing that makes a Wingle or Pelper better, um, it's if it has Drizzle as an ability. It can have other ab abilities, but the one that makes Wingle kind of interesting to get would probably be if he has Drizzle. Now, Drizzle is an ability that makes it rain, which can be really interesting if you, in like specific fights, I mean, if you're fighting Blaine, and obviously the rain will help against the, the fire time moves, or if you honestly just just um, just use it on a combination with a Swiftfin Pokemon, like uh, Kingdra or Ludicolo gets that 
extra boost on speed, which means that King Gerald Ludicolo gets insane, uh, you know, uh, speed and can just one-shot everyone if, uh, if used correctly. So obviously, I think there's a lot of interesting strategies that you can do with Drizzle, but obviously it's not guaranteed. And it's a water Pokemon that you get on the grass, which is not ideal since you have a lot of water Pokemon you're going to be getting just by playing the game. So, um, talking about, talking in an unbiased opinion, I don't think Wingle is the encounter you want to get because, honestly, fast drizzle can be pretty interesting, but overall, there's way better encounters to get, especially like this Dratini, or, uh, one of the other encounters you can get in the grass is Taylor. So, I already talked about Taylor a lot as well. Guts, absolutely insane, has really high speed, really high attack with Guts as well, it's just very good, learns wing attack quite early, so it's probably one of the best Pokemon you can get here. I'm pretty sure you can find, like, Yama here, and... Not to and other stuff, but um, yeah, I, I'm not quite sure. I'm pretty sure you can find Natu here. Uh, so not to is pretty interesting. I think he's pretty decent. He's a psychic type Pokemon. He's a bulky psychic type Pokemon. Um, but I think other than that, he's like pretty generic. He can learn like Hypnosis, right? And maybe he learns Confuse Ray or Wish. So it can be definitely a pretty interesting like support bulky psychic type Pokemon. But I'm pretty... Uh, I would be happier with other flying types and other psychic type Pokemon. I think it's nice to get him if you do, but if you don't, it's still fine if that makes sense. But yeah, I'm not really quite sure what other Pokemon you can get here. Um, but yeah. With that said, how the hell do you get Dratini here, right? So the first thing we're gonna be doing is actually going to the S... Oh, we should buy both balls. Or gray balls. Let's buy... 19. So, the first thing we're going to be doing is going to the SSN. So, the SSN actually counts as a new location. So, this is the location SSN, which means you can get a new encounter here. Now, we're going to go ahead and not make a mistake and go and put the good rod as it registered. Now, by fishing here with the good rod, you will either get Horsey or Krabby, and I'm not sure if you can get any other Pokemon with the good rod. Why is this important? Because we already have Horsey, which means the only Pokemon we can catch here is Krabby. So, because of the dupe clause, which means that in round 11, uh, when we, oh, I shouldn't, or not round 11, on Vermilion City, when we fish, if you find either a Krabby, or, or if you find a Krabby, you can just dodge that encounter, and we got a Magikarp, uh, so I guess we can get Magikarp with a good raw, that's super unlucky, oh my god, really? We went through two horses and we found a magic card. No crabby. That's really unlucky. Okay. So now we kind of need to risk a little bit. Because I'm pretty sure you can get Dratini on Route 11. But I kind of wanted to get a grass encounter in Route 11. And I don't know at what point, till what point is, you know, getting. getting, um. getting Dratini more useful. So we're just gonna name him Poseidon. I don't- I'm not really gonna use Magikarp. I don't like Gyarados in Generation 3. Obviously, he's still a very strong Pokemon physically, so I might use him here or there, but... I think overall, I'm not- I'm not too happy with this, uh, with this encounter. Okay, so now we're gonna have to risk a little bit. We were with a good rod, right? I didn't mess that up. Yeah. So we can get a Krabby, Horsey, and Magikarp in, in SSN. So that's our SSN encounter. I'm going to have to risk it, risk it a little bit because I do want to get the Dratini and not even worry about the Krabby. So come on, game. Give me the Dratini. Obviously, if you get the Krabby on, on, on SSN, it's a lot higher chances you get the Dratini because it's between Corefish and Dratini, right? So we got the Corefish. Oh my god, this is so sad. Ah, This is so unbelievably sad. So now, it's between Krabby and Dratini. So, now there's a problem, right? We can fish for Dratini in Route 11. The thing is, you get a Krabby in Route 11. This is super bad, because there's some pretty good encounters in Route 11. So I don't know at what point is it better to risk it for the Dratini, you know? I don't have a nickname for this. Oh yeah, we do. Water hazard. I don't know if that fits. Oh boy. Does it fit? 
This is a Ben 10 reference, I'm pretty sure. And... Zerd. I mean, it doesn't fit. <laughs> what now, dude? I had water hazard. You can put water. <laughs> water hazard. <laughs> this Pokemon is such a joke. Water. Water hazard. Okay. Yeah, that's funny at least. So yeah, I don't know at which point we got a little bit unlucky. It still doesn't fit. It's still the same letters. I'm, am I an idiot? Um, water. I'll put it without a name. Water has zerd. Water hazard. We got a core fish. I really like core fish. I want to use them, but I'm so sad because we didn't get Dratini. So I don't know at which point it's okay to risk it. I'm pretty sure in Route 11 can find pretty much the same encounters. So basically, like Dratini, Krabby, and, and core fish. I don't know at what point is fishing gonna be worth it because we can get some pretty bad encounters in the grass too. So let's talk about Route 11. So already talking about the fish encounters, probably like the same as Vermilion, but in the grass. We can get Drowsy, which is a bulky Psychic Knight Pokemon, which is pretty interesting. Uh, he's honestly pretty good. I like him. I like I like Hypno. Uh, then we have Abra, obviously really great if you get a Kadabra. Uh, having both Gordivore and, and Abra would be <laughs> kind of crazy. Uh, insane Special Attacker. Uh, then then we have Trapinch. So Flygon, really interesting encounter. We ever, who, who doesn't like Flygon, right? He's a pretty cool encounter. I don't think I ever used one before in, in a long time, so that would be pretty interesting. Obviously has a pretty interesting typing of Dragon Ground, right? Or I'm pretty sure it's Dragon Ground. So it could be really interesting as an encounter as well. I don't know how good or bad it could be, but I'm, I'm sure it's pretty interesting for the better. Uh, then we have Baltoy. I don't really want Baltoy, but Clay Doll can be kind of interesting, but I don't know, at, at, you know, at which point isn't just better getting another Pokemon. Uh, then we have Nachu. We already talked about Nachu. Um, pretty generic, bulky. Psychotype Pokemon that can be kind of supportive with Wish, but honestly just prefer getting like a Flygon or uh, or Nabra or even Drowsy. And they have Ekans, which is really bad. Ekans is so bad. I don't really don't know which point because this is a 50-50, I guess. I don't really know the percentages, but I guess it's a 50-50. But you do lose the chance of getting like a Trap Inch or a Flygon. Like it depends. Like it goes. I think it goes to like is Krabby more useful than like Ekans? And I think no, because at least Ekans is a poison type Pokemon, while Krabby would just be a water type that I don't really use because I already have water types. I think we get the Grass Encounter. I think we just skip the Dratini. A little bit lucky. I'm pretty sure we got the Dratini in, in Tem Number One. He did really good, but uh, yeah, it is unfortunate. But it is what it is. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try to skip these guy and trainers. And we're gonna get a Grass Encounter, so hopefully get either a Trapinch or Nabra. That's what I'm really looking for. And let's see what we get. So we got the Abra. Let's go ahead and Hypnosis. And let's throw a Great Ball at this. So, honestly, pretty happy with this encounter. Definitely better than having a Krabby. We just need to capture it now. I'm pretty scared. And boom! We got the Abra. Okay. Not bad at all. So we got a Rolt and Abra. Really insane. Oh boy. So yeah, it's level 18, which kind of sucks, but... So the game I had for this was, uh, how do you type this? It was Creature with a K. That's a reference to something. I think Harry Potter? Don't quite remember. Yeah, the creature. Oh boy! So now... Okay, well, now that's pretty much, we got the Vermilion City Encounter, we got uh, Route 11 Encounter, we got SSN Encounter, and got... That's it. SSN, Vermilion, and Route 11. Oh, so there's another encounter we can get in Route 11. Oh boy. Now this is another pretty important encounter. So you can either get a Diglett or a... Obviously this is a good sketch, so you can find Diglett or Dugtrio, or you can find Dunsparce, and I got a Dunsparce in attempt number one. 
which honestly kind of sucked. I really, obviously, uh, Diglett is going to be way more useful than the Dunsparce, and just as a Pokemon, but obviously because we have Lieutenant Search coming up, and having a fast ground type Pokemon is very, very interesting. So hopefully we get lucky this time and we get a Diglett instead of a Dunsparce. Because we already got a little bit unlucky with the encounters. I mean, we did get an Avatar, which is pretty cool. But come on, give me a give me a Diglett. Okay, okay, but at least we got the Diglett. This is really nice. We're gonna Hypnosis. And let's capture this. Now, the only thing I really don't like about Diglett is that Diglett has 10 base HP. That is insanely low. It's, it, I don't think there's a Pokemon with lower HP than Diglett, which means he's very, very squishy. He, if he gets hit, he probably dies, which is kind of painful. But yeah, it's still very fast ground type Pokemon, which can be helpful against Lieutenant Search. Got Terra. Pretty cool. With that, I think we got four encounters already. Holy crap. I think that's all of the encounters we can get in this area, so. Alright, those are the encounters. So yeah, re re uh, recapping a little bit here, you kinda wanna get Dratini. So the way you do it is you go to the Sam, you fish. And you get either, you get probably a Krabby if you were lucky to get a horsey in Cerulean, right? If you get a horse in Cerulean, just go to the SSN, fish for a Krabby, and then come back and a fish here. Now, if you get in Lunky, you get the core fish instead of the Dratini, that's okay. You can just go and fish to Route 11 and you will get a Dratini. Uh, but obviously, here you can also get some pretty good encounters like uh, the Trap Inch and um, the Abra specifically. I think they're the better ones. So, yeah. It really depends at what point you kind of want to waste encounters on Dratini, but you kind of need to get the SSN encounter anyway because it's just a, you know, it's just an encounter that you can get there. And uh, there's honestly not that many good encounters you can get on the grass here. So you honestly just want to go for the Dratini. Yeah, there we go. I kind of want to check our new Pokemon. So let's go ahead and do that. So... Starting out, we have Poseidon with a timid nature. That would honestly be... That's honestly kind of bad for... For Magikarp specifically. For any other water type, this would have been insane. So, timid is minus attack and plus speed. I'm pretty sure. So, yeah. With that, let's see. We have Water Hazard. So, this has a naughty nature. Which is not... Naughty's plus attack in my special defense. I think that's pretty bad. Um... Obviously, Corefish is going to be water, gra uh, water Dark, so Special Attack would be the best. I don't know what moves he learns, but I'm pretty excited to use a Corefish. I love Corefish, and I love Crawdont. I have a Dark type on the team again. It's the only one, right? Oh, we also have um, Terranitar in future occasions. So then we have Creature with a Serious Nature. Uh, isn't Serious neutral? Yeah, Serious is neutral, so I'm pretty happy with neutral. Um... I don't think he, this gets this gets confusion by level up, does it? Oh god, that kind of sucks. Uh, we'll have to find a way. And finally, we have Terra with a lonely nature. This is plus attack and minus defense. So yeah, if this thing gets hit, it dies. <laughs> with minus defense, especially. This has 42 HP, by the way. Level 23. Level 23, 42 HP. Let's go, like... Meowth, which also is, is a pretty squishy Pokemon. 44, level 17. What is this? It's crazy. 10 base HP is absolutely nuts. But yeah, that's Sword Encounters. But yeah, uh, so yeah, we took a long, long time talking about encounters and getting them. So now I just want to go ahead and probably just go throughout 11 and then just finish with the SSM. Um, so let's see, what am I going to need? All right, let's just go. The first trainer is going to be Youngster. He has an Arbok. Which is attack. Okay. We can just have Spike. Beat it. So let's go ahead and honestly just use Horn Attack. This shouldn't be any trouble. There we go. So that was one attack. Two attack he used, right? Pretty sure Arbok has two attack he used. So there we go. Next up. Uh, we have the the gamer. And he has a, a polywag and a chincha, which is speed and HP. Do we have any Pokemon that want speed and HP? I'm pretty sure. Let me just check the computer really fast. Let's see our Pokemon. So speed and HP. 
Who wanted speed and HP? I'm kind of confused. I guess Hootoot, so like, um, Hedwig. I don't think that was the Pokemon I was thinking about. Oh. Kaiser, but... We're not gonna use Kaiser. Okay, that's fine then. Let's just go ahead... Let's heal with Paralysis. So, speed and HP, right? We'll just use Arl. She also wants some HP and some speed, I guess. I will just Bullet Seed, and then Mega Drain. There we go. So, Arl. Now plus one speed. Alright, next up, uh, we have an Engineer. Got a Firestone, pretty interesting. Uh, that's not the Engineer. Oh my god, that's the Engineer. I couldn't even see. Okay, this is actually fine. This has... A Maripa Flaffy and Electrike, which is a speed and special attack. That's honestly perfect. Um, so let's just go ahead and uh, keep attacking with the Bold Seed. Alright. It's probably like three special attack. Plus three special attack. And plus one speed. That actually worked out pretty well. Alright, next up. Uh, have another gamer. With a sun curtain and some floor, which is special attack. So I kinda wanna give it wings. I don't know if it's a bit too under level, but uh, let's try it. Not actually kind of fine. Uh, we can see powder. We can uh, confusion. Sea powder. And supersonic. And just confusion. I love using this Pokemon. Alright, that's three special attack EVs for wings. Alright, next up, we have another engineer with an electronic, which is speed. I'll go for spike. So it should be this dude. Let me just warn back. Yep, pretty easy. So spike, got another. Then we have a youngster with a hoot hoot and eradicate, which is HP and speed. I think Garl can deal with that, honestly. So, where's the. I guess. I don't know which youngster it is. I guess it's this one. I should assume it's this one. Yeah. Perfect. So, we're gonna Bullet Seed. Okay, and then we just Mega Drain. And yeah, that should be 1 HP and 2 Speed EVs. Alright. The other one has a Sand Shoe. And a Sand Slash, which is the fence. No one really wants fence, I'll just have Rocket deal with that. We can honestly just come here after being Lieutenant Surge, so I just assume that we can use Pokemon over the level cap and just random trainer battles. Uh, so that's that. Then we have a trainer with a Grow Life and a Vulpix, which is attack. And speed. So we'll go back into Spike. It's a gamer. So it should be this dude right up here. Wow, I just kind of went across him. Yep. We're just going to keep port attacking. There we go. That's plus one. Plus one. Speed. Okay. Next up, we have a youngster. The zigzag and a tailo and a line in, which is speed. Guess we'll just stay with Spike. Do this dude. Yep. And 
and that should be four speed EVs. And there's only one trainer remaining, the Voltorb and the Magnemite, which is speed in special attack that, because of the Magnemite, we should go ahead and get Magby. So let's do that. Heal the team. And we're gonna get Olympus instead of probably Wings for now. And he should be able to deal the last trainer, hopefully. And get some speed and special attack for him. And that should be the end of round 11. Let's go ahead. So okay. Ooh, that was kind of close, but we did it. We learned Fire Punch. That's so nice. So Fire Punch, 75 base damage. And we're going to rid of Ember. There's no point in having Ember. And this is just much better. So let's go ahead. We got the Fire Punch and... Olympus got one special attack. And plus one speed. That was kind of close though. But I risked it and it paid off. So, okay. Like it more like that. With that, let's get the Great Ball there. And let's switch. Put some other Pokemon in front. There we go. That's that. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the SSN. I don't think we're gonna beat Lieutenant Surge today. But that's fine. As long as we beat the SSN. Then we can uh, do more next episode. So let's see. Okay. So let's go to the SSN. I guess ground floor? Yeah. Alright, so this trainer... Has a Machomp. Oh my god, uh, I'll just use Nidoking. Uh, I didn't want to use Spike when we had other Pokemon. Alright, so this should have Machomp. Boom. Free special, or free attack EV. And then the other trainer... Oh, so this trainer... Oh, I remember this trainer. <laughs> See, this trainer, I used Bell in September 1, and he died because... Remoraid had Aurora Beam? <laughs> and... Because this trainer has attack and special attack, and we kind of want Bell for that. Now, I think Bell's just gonna die again, but... I'm honestly just gonna go for it. What do I have to lose, other than Bell? I shouldn't, but it's the only Pokemon with attack and special attack. Like, um, get rid of Olympus for now. Olympus not gonna be very useful in the SSM. I even give him like something. I don't know, Nornberry. Oh my God, give. But yeah, he's pretty low level compared. But I'm just gonna go for it. Uh, we can honestly just switch on the Rem Raid. I'm pretty sure Rem Raid is special attack. So we can probably just swap. So yeah, Carvana and Goldeen are attack, and then... Oh my god, what did I just do? Oh, okay, it's Girl Life, it's attack. So this trainer... Who is this dude? Okay, so this guy has a Growlithe and a Metatide, which is attack and speed. Holy crap, this guy has confusion. Uh, so speed... Uh, I'll just go into Hedwig. Oh boy, that was kind of scary. So let's see, Bell... ...got plus one attack. And then Nidoking... ...got... Plus one attack. And the Needle King got plus one speed. And Hoot or Noctowl or Hedwig got plus one speed. That was a rough one. Holy crap. Well, who's the healer? Oh boy, I don't know who the healer is. Is it here? Yes, great. 
Let's uh, go back to Bell, see what Bell can do. Probably not a lot, but I kind of want to see. So let's go. The Carvana. You... You don't have Vine Whip? What? How do you not have Vine Whip? You're so useless to me. I want to have to go to Rocket. This is useless. I'm sorry. Like, you don't even have Vine Whip? Oh boy. So Bellstrand is useless right now. That's absolutely crazy. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, next up we have a Sailor. The Tentacle, which is a special defense, so I'll just go with Rocket. We're gonna be- we're gonna be over the, the next level cap if this keeps going. Jesus. And Whooper's HP, I think. Doesn't really matter. So we got TM44. But which is TM44? Ras is actually pretty good. Next up. Special attack, attack, and defense. And Bell can't really deal, deal with that. Horsey? Yeah, Horsey, clam, uh, Corfish, and Clamper. Right. So Rocket doing rocket things. Got an Aether. Next up, another dude with special defense. So... This one has special attack and defense and special defense. What about the last one? It has Barboat, which is HP. So we can go ahead and use Sideways for this one. Boom. Got one HP. And with that, we're done with the ground floor. Now... There's like Grey Bull here, Super Potion, whatever, and then... Hyperbotion there. Cool, with that, let's continue on the main floor. And let's see. Next trainer has a Need Arena and a Need Arena, which is two attack and two HP EVs. I don't really have anyone right now that can deal with that. There's like Larvitar, but. Other than that, not much, right? And I can't really use Larvazar for that fight. So let's see... What else? This one, right? Nuzleaf, only attack. Go for Spike. Now you, I'm guessing. None of your trainers. Okay, so it's probably two attack EVs. So plus two attack. And the other trainer has a Clefairy and a Skitty, which is HP and speed. Go back at Hedwig. That's one HP. Reflect is pretty interesting. And this is speed. So one HP, one speed. Okay, with that, we're done in this location. Any items here? Not really, this is a Team Rocket, Detective, whatever. Uh, so now, here, I get that. Get the Chesto Berry, get the Cherry Berry, get the Peach Berry. Do you have any berries from me, Rocket? No. Then we can go up. Alright, let's fight the deck first, so... Alright, the first trainer has the fence. The Pokemon that we have has fence. The one thing I'm noticing a lot about this attempt and the other one is that the other one had a lot of different Pokemon that wanted different Eevees. And this one, all of them just kind of want pretty much the same thing. We don't really have a tank. So this is the one with Makuhira and Krabby. So this is HP and attack? Yeah. Uh, no, it's you. Okay, with that, let's finish the trainers. 
I won't use, um... I know I'm going over level cap a lot on Rocket, and... I don't know if I can or not, but I'm just gonna use them because... Why not? I could honestly just skip all these trainers and just come back later. Actually, here, no, but... You, you know what I mean. But I will not use him on Gary, don't worry. On boss fights, I will not ever use Pokemon of level cap, no matter what. Because, you know, I actually need to go through the boss battles to actually reach the next area, if that makes sense. While random trainers, I can just usually go back and fight them um, and skip them for a little bit, right? I think that's just like a lot of work for me to just use the same Pokemon just because we raised the level cap. Does that make sense? Okay, so we're starting off with the Fisherman that has a Barboach, a Corefish, Magikarp, HP, Attack, and Speed. Isn't that what Spike wants? Pretty sure he wanted a little bit of HP. Not really. Okay. Uh, I guess Rocket? HP, Attack, and Speed. Yeah, it's gonna have to be Rocket. This is the one with the Magikarp picture, or the Solnax picture, right? So, here. Okay, what about next? Pikachu, full speed. So, we're gonna go back into Spike. And that's two speed EVs. Pikachu's two speed. Because he's in evolution. That's why it's usually weird for me to remember. So, plus two speed. Okay. You got the Stardust. Next trainer. Polyworld and Ponyta. Which is full speed. Uh, I'm gonna use all on this one. I mean Ponyta, right? I guess I can just use Spike. A little bit scary with the Polyworld, but I think we will be fine if we just score an attack like twice. So like here? Nope. Uh, we're gonna have to fight the girl first, aren't we? So the girl... ...has a pa hop up and a Delcaddy, which is special defense and HP. So we just have Rocket deal with that. And then, now we can go into Spike and be twisted. We got Hypnosis. I'm going to Arl, Mega Drain. And then we'll go back to the spy. And do So by probably rolls two speedies, I'm pretty sure. So that's plus three speed on uh, spike and plus three on some flora. Okay. With that. That we're done! We're only missing Gary. Kinda crazy. So, oh god. So Gary, Gary, Gary. Do we, are we gonna prepare for Gary or are we just gonna go for it? So obviously we can't use... Oh, let's see if we have a team for it. Kinda scary, honestly. They're around level, like level 25. Kinda the average. Uh, 22, 23, 24, 24, 26. Hmm. So let's see... Probably, we probably, we definitely need to grind. So we need to be Golbat, we can just use Electric type, we don't have one. Oh. Sorry, Sparky. <laughs> um, how do we deal... What level does Ralts evolve? Yeah, just tell me the, le the level. What the hell? Why do I need to go search it? Jesus. Level 20. So we can't get a curl, yeah. I don't know if I want to do that, though. What else could we use? We can use wings, but that's kind of risky. We obviously can't use... Rocket. We could honestly just use... Oh, it's level 10. I thought it was level 20. 
Poor fish. How cute. So we need someone to deal with the Golbat. Not really sure who. Then we need someone to deal with a Gramble. That's probably Mangy's job. So Tantrum. Then he has a Kadabra. Who do we have to deal with the Kadabra? I kind of wanted a physical attacker. This has a little defense, but this one's too squishy. I wanted to use Ronkin, huh? <laughs> Can't use Ronkin for everything this time. Um, We can use... Neko. Yeah, we'll use Neko. Yep, yep, yep. Or we could grind to Gyarados, but that... That would be painful. To say the least. Really, really painful. I could, though, and get a... Because I don't like Gyarados. So I'm not planning on using him too much. But no. I don't think I'm gonna even bother. Then he has... The Electabuzz, but I, I'm not really sure... What like the is gonna have? That's really scary. You can have like fire punch, ice punch, thunder punch. So it's really hard to find a good Pokemon to fight him. I think the Jinx was easier to deal with, honestly. Jesus. I think actually Curly might be good on that. No? Anti special defense. Hedwig is going to be pretty good. I think we're going to be using Dawn. Bell is not really useful. So let's see, let's see. Uh, Tantrum for the snub, for the Grand Bull. Hedwig is going to be pretty decent overall. Then Dawn is going to be pretty useful against Electabuzz. So then, do we use Spike? Spike gets wrecked if, uh, if Electabuzz has Ice Punch. I mean, it's probably neutral. Can probably tank a hit or two. I'm gonna keep Spike. Oh my god, Spike is level 27! Isn't that a level cap? Holy crap, I didn't even notice the levels. We have Aural and Sun- Oh my god, we can't even use these two, because they're all the level cap. We want to use them for the gym, we can't use them anymore. Holy moly, I didn't even- I completely forgot. I'm pretty sure level cap is 27. I'm pretty darn sure the level cap is 27. Oh mo- oh ho ho. Uh, I'm gonna confirm, but I'm pretty sure it's 27. Which means we can't even use Spike or Arl for the Geary fight. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna use them yet, but I don't wanna risk it. So let's see, Flaffy 24, Chinchou 25, Raichu 27, Nectric 26, Jolteon 25, and Magdon 26. So yesterday, the level cap for Lucent Surge is 27, which means we can't use these two anymore. Or it'll go over the level cap. How close were you? From just the beginning. Still, oh my god, what do we do now? I don't have a team for this Gary fight. Like, how do I even deal with the goal bat? I'm still... I'm gonna have to train you up, aren't I? Oh boy. We're gonna have to have Poseidon kinda carry us this fight. And then the Grand Bull, we have Tantrum. We'll put him at 24. I think that's a decent level. Even 25 is fine, honestly. We need Tantrum for Grand Bull. Then we have the Kadabra, which we're going to be using Hedwig, and who else? I guess Poseidon. And then the Electabuzz, we can't use Poseidon for that one. I guess we'll have to use Bell. I'm bringing in, like, 
the Pokemon can kind of can kind of die. I'm not gonna be too worried. I guess Snenko. This is the team. <laughs> team is so bad. I don't want to use Terra because I want to keep Terra for for the Lieutenant Surge. We'll go with this team. So I'm gonna have right. Yeah. So oh boy, I'm gonna have to grind this team. The same one wanted to attack here. Bell. Okay, we can train Poseidon by switching with Bell until level 15. Okay. Nago has pickup for now. It's an Adaman. That's pretty cool. We also want Nanko with attacks, so that's also fine. And then also an attack. And then oh boy. Yeah. See, so yeah, I'm gonna have to have a grindy session. And put all these Pokemon to level 25 so we can fight Gary. And after that, we'll head into Lieutenant Surge Gym. So, here I go again with another grinding session. Oh boy. So, yeah. Ooh. I can't believe I've, I was just not even focused on the on, on the level cap. All right, I'll see you in just a little bit once the Pokemon are at the right level. Bye-bye. All right. Welcome back. Um, that was a long grinding session. But uh, we are finally over. So I actually want to talk about a few things, especially what happened. Um, so first of all, let's go over the team that we decided to use against Gary. So starting out, we have Neko level 25. Nothing too major to see here. He did learn a Feint Attack and Payday. So I did get a little bit of cash while grinding it by using Payday, which is pretty cool. He also has the pickup ability, which means he actually got a few items as well as rare candies. That was pretty helpful uh, for this monstrosity over here, especially. But Right, next up we have Bell. So Bell evolved into a Weeping Bell. It also learned Razor Leaf, which is pretty cool. And obviously this will help us a lot through the rest of the Nuzlocke. Next up we have Poseidon. So Poseidon was a pain to level up. I ended up actually using like three rare candies on it. But luckily Neko found even more, which I needed, which is really cool. And yeah, we have a Poseidon here. I only train him with attack EVs, so... <clears throat> Sorry about that. He is pretty high on attack right now. 71. That is pretty darn powerful. And yeah, so he learned Bite and Dragon Range, so pretty okay. Uh, next up we have Dawn evolved into a Curly Eye. I trained it with special attack only, so this can be a nice powerhouse. It is pretty not pretty darn nice as a Curly Eye. He learned uh, Calm Mind and Double Team. No, I learned Calm Mind and Magical Leaf via level up, which means our move pool right now is pretty darn cool. Confusion, Calm Mind, Double Team, and Magical Leaf, it's a pretty good combo, especially this early into the game. I think Curly is a, definitely a nice addition to the team. Next up we have Tantrum. Tantrum didn't really do much, we just trained him with attack and he didn't learn anything or anything like that. And finally we have Hedwig, who learned a Reflect, which is a pretty interesting move if you ask me. So Reflect uh, re raises the defense, right? Cuts damage from physical attacks, so basically raises your defense, in a way. Which is pretty cool. Um, and yeah, he didn't learn anything else, and with that, I kind of want to go over the rest of the team. So starting out, we have uh, Kaiser. I didn't really do anything to Kaiser because, again, I need to train him with, with uh, HP, uh, Special Attack, and Speed. And through all those things, it's kind of hard to train him with only, when he only has Bubble. So, I didn't touch him yet, uh, but hopefully you can find some better spots, or, go, or when you have access to Pewter City, I might go back there and grind him, who knows. But for now, Kaiser's just chilling. Now that we need him to do that much for now, since uh, we, want, we want the powerhouse that is Kingdra a little bit later into the game. Uh, next up we have Creature, so... <clears throat> Creature was level 18, I give it a rare candy so he could evolve into a Kadabra. But as predicted, he didn't learn the Confusion. So, since I can't really do anything with him, I decided to not even grind him. It would be even a greater pain than training Magikarp to Gyarados. So he's just chilling there until we, get, we can get to the village where Erika is. Because there we can actually relearn old moves. Uh, it's a Drayano change, so that's going to be pretty cool. And we can actually just teach him Confusion. And we can go through there and uh, <clears throat> do well. My god, my throat is kind of killing me. Uh, next up we have Terra. We didn't really touch Terra. He was already level 23. So as you can see, I trained every Pokemon that we're going to be using against Gary at level 25. And then all the other Pokemon I trained to level 23. So since Terra was already level 23, I didn't really train him. Uh, he has three types and dig and magnitude. He's also lonely nature. I'm pretty sure we check that out, right? Next up, we have water hazard level 23. So something I actually want to talk about was um, Corefish. 
So uh, in the beginning, episode, in, in the beginning of the episode, I talked about like uh, Corefish as an encounter and Krabby and whatnot. So both of them are pretty interesting. So I think Corefish is probably better than Kingler, at least in Generation Three. So I think the main difference is that um, Kingler is a little bit more defensive, has higher defense, and also has higher attack, and he's also faster than Crawdont, but he has pretty low special attack, which means. He's not very good in Generation 3 specifically. Now, Crawdon has a little less attack, so I think Kingler had a 130 base, and Crawdon has 120 base, but it has a little less defense. I think uh, I think Kingler had at least 75 defense, and, and Crawdon has a little bit less. Um, but he does compensate with that on special attack, even though he's a slow Pokemon, even though Crawdon is a slow Pokemon, he has really high attack, 120, and then he has like 90 base special attack as well. Which means it's a pretty interesting Pokemon because he can actually um, use like normal normal physical moves and then a few water moves or a few dark type moves and, or some crazy stuff. It can actually become a pretty interesting Pokemon. So I'm pretty excited to try out Corefish. Uh, he evolves at level 30, by the way. I train him with attack because we kind of want him as a physical attacker mostly, even though. It's not. It's kind of weird for a water dark type Pokemon. I still think giving him attack will be pretty useful, and we can utilize that. But we'll still give him some some other moves that are either water or dark if necessary. Yeah, I think this Pokemon is gonna be pretty interesting, even though he's slow, even though he's not very good defensively. Offensively, he's way better than Kingler, I think, overall. Even though Kingler has more attack. But yeah, I kind of I kind of went and did a little bit of research on that because I was kind of. Um, you know, I was, I was curious. Uh, I didn't know too much about Crawdon, if that made sense. If that made sense, so... Yeah, I'm pretty excited to see how what, what this can do, and which moves it learns, and what we can do with it, if that makes sense. Um, as if we have Wings, we just double them to level 23. I don't think he changed moves or anything like that. Uh, same, th same thing with Malachite. Just uh, level him up. He learned Rock Slide, which is pretty cool. And that's pretty much it. Next up, we have Olympus. So we train Olympus level 23. So something about Fire Red Omega uh, that I don't know if you know. Um, uh, usually the three stars, Smoochum, Elekid, and um, Magby usually evolve at level 28. But in Fire Red Omega, they evolve at level 24. So that you get an earlier evolution. It also learns, so it's one level away from Magmar. And also learned Fire Punch, which I took Ember for. Which is a really nice stab move. 75 base plus stab and 100 accuracy. Pretty darn good. And finally we have Sky. So Sky evolved into a Swellow. And um, that's pretty much it. <laughs> uh, I think we already talked about Pike, uh, Spike and Arles, right? They couldn't, I couldn't really level them up or do anything with them. Or fight very with them because they're at the level cap. And you might use them for the gym that is Lieutenant Surge. So then all recapped and whatnot. Let's go ahead and beat Gary. And all the trainers and lieutenants surge as a gem. So, um, let's see here. He's gonna start with his gold band. We're gonna start with Poseidon. He might have Confused Ray. So, we want to get a Persian Berry to Poseidon. And then he has the Grand Bull, who doesn't really matter, and the Kadabra, who doesn't really matter, so... And then has the Ele uh, Electabuzz, so we probably want, um, Paralysis, so Cherry Berries. I'll give one to Bell. I'll give one to Dawn. And I'll give one to Neko. And then I'll give Orin Berries. One to Tantrum, and one to Hedwig. Alright, with that, I think we're ready to go ahead and fight Gary. Um, should be quite alright. Uh, I do not think the Gary fights of this game are that hard. There's like one or two that are decently hard, but the rest are pretty easy. But let's see how he goes, because they do have an Electabuzz. So obviously you get the Intimidated off, which is pretty cool. I'm just gonna Dragon Rage this. He wing attack, but he didn't do any damage. It did help me out. He goes straight for the Electabuzz. That means he's going straight for an Electric type move. So I think the correct decision here is to go into Bell, because it's not very effective. So we get into Bell. We get the Cherry Berry to heal the Paralysis. And now I'm gonna sleep out it? Right, now I'm gonna raise release how much damage even. A LP amount. Wow, we just What? We just wow. So much grinding. <laughs> because I thought Electabuzz was gonna be a pain, and he just slept through the whole fight. He thunderweight twice, and he slept through the whole fight. Wow. 
So he's gonna go into the Curlia. I thought this had a Kadabra, so it has a Curlia. Alright, that's fine. Uh, basically the same thing. I'll just go back into Poseidon. He's call mining, but I'm gonna bite and bite again. Boom. Goes the, there goes the Curlia. Finally the Gramble. I don't think we even need to switch. I'll just uh, drag and range. And boom. There we go. That was Gary. Really simplified. Wow. With that, let us remove all the berries. And wow, 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 wow. That, uh, that and killing Electabuzz like that was surprising. But let's get cut. And with that, we can leave the SSN. And, um, we're one hour in, kind of. I do want to defeat Lieutenant Search today. Screw it. I think we're gonna go for it. Why the hell not? I mean, it's gonna be like 20. Oh, we need cut. All right. Uh, let's each cut to probably Bell. I don't know if I should. Or Neko. Probably Neko? Is there a scratch? I mean, we probably won't use Neko for the fight. So here you can get Squirtle, I think, and a Thunderstone. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. The first trainer is a sailor with full speed. I'll use Bell. This guy. So, I'll do the Gary EVs off, uh, while I'm recording or editing or whatever. So that's one speed EV. And that's three speed EVs. So, Bell... Plus three speed. Next up, we have another... Trainer with a Voltorb and a Magnemite, so it's speed and special attack. So I kind of need to go ahead and get um, Olympus to the team very quickly. And um, I'll remove probably Hedwig, right? He's not gonna be helpful. I like your gym. And boom, I should probably heal just in case. I'll use Bell next. And let's go ahead and defeat you. So this should be Fire Punch and then Fire Punch and boom. That's one speed and one special attack. So Olympus. And finally, there's one more trainer with an Elegant, which is speed. So yeah, we'll use Bell. Okay. Laser leave if it hits. So we can beat we can beat Elica, but we can beat Electabuzz. Sure. Um I threw into Dawn, right? Yeah. I mean just confusion. Boom. Okay. That's plus one. Right with that, unless you can figure out the puzzle. Nope. Oh, hey. Oh, I did it. That was pretty easy. There we have Lieutenant Surge, but I still need to prepare a team. Um, I'm not sure if I, I, don't, I don't know I even... I mean, Neko could be pretty good for the gym. Oh, that's right. Neko's not useful because level cap is 27. He evolves at level 28. Because when Neko evolves, he learns an ability, Limber, I think, which means he can't get paralyzed, and that's pretty insane for this gym. Unfortunately, Driano didn't let us do that. <laughs> for this particular challenge, obviously. Yeah, um, I don't know which, which my team is gonna be. It's time for me to prepare, and I will not really talk too much about it, because we're already one hour in, and this episode's gonna be way too long. So, I'll see you in just a little bit once the team is ready. Bye-bye. Alright, welcome back to the finale of episode 4, right? Episode 4. Uh, well, this is the team we're gonna be using to fight Lieutenant Surge. So starting out, we have Terra, now as a Duck Trio. Uh, this is going to be having Magnitude, Mudslap, Dig, and Fierce Types. Pretty good, fast, ground type Pokemon. Only big problem is that it has 35 base HP, so it, it's pretty squishy. It also only has 28 defense, so this is... If this thing gets hit, um, yeah, it's probably dying, but oh well. Next up we have Arl, a pretty 
a decent uh, grass type Pokemon. This resists the electric typing and also pretty nice. It has uh, Mega Drain, Razor Leaf, has Growth if I want to. Honestly, just here to help me against a few electric type moves. But it's going to be pretty useful. You'll find out sooner or later. Next up, we have Dawn. So we have Orcurlia. In this Pokemon, I think it was uh, Curlia, right? Yeah, already was a Curlia. I already told you she evolved. Or he evolved. Um, this thing is insane. It learned Psychic at level 27. It learned Psychic. Look at this move pool. Psychic, Calm Mind, Double Team, and Magical Leaf at level 27. This thing is awesome. It's so nice. 90 base power with 61 special attack seems pretty darn decent. Uh, so this thing is going to be pretty helpful, not only because it has a pretty good move pool, but also has the ability Synchronize, which means uh, basically every lieutenant's, every Pokemon that Lieutenant Surge has has Thunder Wave, which means that after a few Thunder Waves, they're going to also get Thunder Wave, which is pretty darn good. Next up we have Bell, another Grass time. And this is here because it honestly is going to be helpful with Razor Leaf damage. It also has Poison Powder and Sleep Powder and also is a Grass type, which means... Um, you know, I resist the, the Electro-type moves. Next up we have Olympus as a super OP Magmar. This thing has Thunder Punch, Fire Punch, Smoke Screen, and Karate Chop. Obviously not the best move pool, but it's still here to help us against one specific Pokemon. And it's also pretty darn strong because, you know, Magmar is buffed in this game. It has 80 special attack, level 27, which is pretty darn impressive. And finally, we have Spike. So, the Nido King here to help us out as well. Obviously, being a Poison Ground is pretty interesting typing to help us out. And this thing has Horn Attack, Poison Sting, Dig, and Double Kick. So, I did teach it the Dig that we get from from uh, that Team Rocket Grunt in Cerulean City. Because we didn't really have a Grunt type move. And we, don't, we also don't have Thrash because I'm an idiot. So, we're going to have to use gr uh, Dig. So this is a team. Now, as you can see, everyone has the held items. So everyone has a cherry berry, which cures paralysis, except for Bell, I think. Um, yeah, because Bell has a person berry, which lifts confusion, and you'll see why later. But I think we are finally ready. Let's go ahead and challenge Lieutenant Surge on this super long episode. A lot of work. Let's see how we do. Uh, I think her team looks pretty darn impressive. I think uh, this team is way better than the team I had in attempt number one. Like, way better. Not even close. With that said, let's go ahead and see how we do against the Thunder Surge. Hey, kid. What do you think you're doing here? You won't, you won't live long in combat. Not with your puny power. I'll tell you, kid. Electric Pokemon saved me during the war. They zapped my enemies into paralysis. The same as I'll do to you. We get this super cool music, but it's time to get into the Lieutenant Surge fight. So Lieutenant Surge starts with his Flaffy. Now Flaffy is a super slow Pokemon, but it's going to be pretty annoying. This thing has Thunder Wave, it has Cotton Spore, which lowers uh, speed, it has Substitute, and it has Thunder Punch. So it's a pretty annoying Pokemon, he just wants the Cotton Spore, you Thunder Wave, you even Substitute, and then just Thunder Punch you, which is really annoying. So we're going to be starting with Terra uh, for a specific reason. Uh, Terra is really squishy. And he's really fast, which means uh, the, the thing here we're going to be doing is actually digging. And I might be thinking, oh, if you dig in turn two, it'll just substitute. Well, it doesn't really matter since we're faster. So we're going to dig here and we're going to go into the ground. And obviously, whatever Flaffy does of annoyance, like substitute. Ooh, he wins substitute turn one. I was not expecting him to go substitute turn one. That actually just ruins everything. That is really interesting. Okay, let's see what he goes for now, then. He goes for the Cotton Spore, which slows me down. It sh doesn't really matter. I'm still going to be faster. Since he's actually predicting, being very nasty and going for the Substitute, I'm going to go for a Magnitude instead. And we got a Magnitude 7. This should honestly be enough to kill. It doesn't really matter that we got the Cotton Spore, because I was I was uh, wanting to switch after this no matter what. So, he's probably going to go for the Raichu. He goes for the Chin Chow. That's even better. That's perfect. So, Chin Chow. Let's talk about Chin Chow. Chin Chow doesn't really have anything specific to be too good about. He's just very, very annoying. So, this Chin Chow has a Confuse Ray, which is 100% accuracy. Confuses you. Pretty annoying. It has uh, Spark. That's an electro type move. It also has Water Pulse and Thunder Wave. So, honestly, pretty annoying. A lot of status condition moves. But mostly, I guess, it put it in the Chin Chow because of Water Pulse. 
Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and go into Bell. This is why Bell is the only Pokemon with the Prison Berry, because a lot of Chin Chao's attacks have, well, Confusion. It has um, the Confuse Ray, and it has Water Pulse. So with this, Bell is gonna get the Prison Berry, and I think we're gonna be faster. And since we're faster, one Razor Leaf should be enough to take this thing down, because we did give Bell a lot of special attacking EVs. So we're gonna go for the Razor Leaf, and we are slower, but he doesn't go for a good move. Instead, goes for Spark. If this doesn't paralyze us, it's even better, which is absolutely perfect. And I think this should die. No, wow. So we're not even faster than this, and we don't even one-shot it. Okay, it doesn't really matter that much, because it did waste its Super Potion on the Chin Chow, which I... Honestly, it's a win in my book. And we get a critical hit to finish the Chin Chow off. So now this is probably going to go for the Manek trick. That's what I'm expecting here. Yes, okay, so the reason why I went for the Manek trick is because Manek trick has Flamethrower. And obviously that's a very scary move. So Manek trick has Flamethrower, it has Crunch, it has Thunder Wave, and it has Shockwave. So, uh, Shockwave for the electric type move and it can't miss, which is really interesting. Obviously the Crunch is a pretty annoying, being able to flinch is really bad. And obviously at this point you probably have a Psychic type Pokemon or two, so obviously Curly is not going to help me against against the Manectric very well. Also the Flamethrower very good for for the Grass type Pokemon since Grass types resist the electric type moves, and then what other move? And obviously the the normal Thunder Wave. So this is going to go for a Flamethrower. So we're going to go ahead and put Olympus on the field in my opinion. And I do want Olympus to take care of this Manectric as much as possible. So you're going to be getting a Flamethrower to the face. Obviously, Flamethrower has a pretty high damaging move, right? It has pretty high base power. But we are we are a Fire-type Pokemon. It finally goes for the Shockwave. This should do quite a big chunk of damage. Okay, that's pretty good. I didn't want Olympus to be that low. I think we're going to need to. We get paralyzed by the static, which is unfortunate. But we do have the Cherry Berry. Okay, so we do need to take the Manectric down, unfortunately. So, uh, the thing is, we still have the Magneton to deal with. That's going to be pretty interesting. It's going to go for another Shockwave. I can actually just go into Bell here. It's just going to Flamethrower, though. It's going to be faster than me. I get going to Spike. Uh, the Shockwave won't do any damage because I'm ground. And it doesn't have anything specific to actually do a lot of damage. I'm going to switch here into Spike. We do need Olympus to be kind of healthy because of Magneton. It goes for the Shockwave, doesn't affect us. And now we're going to go for a Dig and see what it goes for. It goes for the Flamethrower, I don't expect this to kill us. We got burned! The problem with burn is that we lose 50% of our tag damage, which means we probably don't even kill this Manectric. And we are burning, so we are probably dead here. Really. Unless we get a crit. Oh my god, it still kills? We got burned, but that still kills. Spike, you mad lad. That is so good. It's probably gonna go for the Raichu. Alright, the reason why it goes for the Raichu is because this Raichu has Surf. So it's definitely gonna go for a Surf. I'm gonna go into Arl. So this Raichu has Surf for, um... For the ground-type coverage. It has... Focus Punch, which is the biggest problem of the fight. And then it has Thunder Wave. So what this Raichu likes to do is Thunder Wave you, and then just spam Focus Punch. If you don't know what how Focus Punch works, is basically, uh, they use Focus Punch, and if you don't attack them, they will they will hit you with a lot of damage. That's how the move works. Now obviously, you, you know, you would just assume, oh, I just need to hit him, and he can't Focus Punch, right? But that, that's the thing. That's the thing of Thunder Wave. He's gonna Thunder Wave you, and you're eventually gonna get paralyzed once or twice in some moment, and he's gonna hit the Focus Punch, and you're gonna lose Pokemon. So we're gonna go here and go for a Razor Leaf. He's gonna start Focus Punching, and he's not even... Um, he hasn't even Thunder Wave this once, and we still have a Cherry Berry. This is very, very good. We're gonna go for Mega Drain now, because I am kinda scared because of Razor Leaf only has a 95 accuracy, so I'd rather go for the 100% accuracy Mega Drain, at least until this Cherry Berry... at least until this Thunder Waves me at least once. Okay. So it does have, like, a... Uh, uh, Citrus Berry, 30 HP. 
That's okay. We're just gonna keep doing this. If it doesn't Thunder Wave us, this Raichu cannot do anything to us. We will just, we'll just keep Focus Punching. I can keep Mega Draining. Even if Mega Drain runs out, we can still use Razor Leaf. We still have Cut, unfortunately, instead of Bullet Seed, because I did, I did need Cut to enter. Let's keep Mega Draining. It goes for the Surf. This is absolutely fine, because we are just gonna heal the damage that the Raichu does. It do the, the, the AI doesn't know what to do at this point. It's not Thunder Waving me, so it can't hit the Focus Punches, unless it makes me miss with the Thunder Wave. So we're just gonna keep using Mega Drain. Uh, the, the only thing unfortunate about Mega Drain is only has 10 PP, but this should be okay. There we go. It has a Moo Moo Milk, I'm pretty sure, which means it's just gonna heal to full. So I'm gonna Razor Leaf it this time. Oh, it actually doesn't. I'm pretty sure, hopefully the 95 doesn't miss. Thank you. And there goes the Raichu. This has been, ooh, so amazing. Even get the high crit chance and get a critical when it doesn't really matter. Next up, what is it gonna be? The Jolteon. So, the Jolteon is mostly kind of just annoying. So this has Pin Missile, which I think is super effective against Grass, right? As Thunder Wave and Shock Wave. So... Ideally, we go into Terra for this, because Jolteon has pretty high special defense. Not that high defense. It can be a little bit tricky, though. I kind of- I think I can save for one turn. We're definitely going to be slower than this, so I'm just going to Mega Drain. It goes for the Shock Wave. We're going to chill a little bit. I don't think we have to switch right now. And Arl's not going to be helpful against the last Pokemon on Lieutenant Surge team, which is going to be the Magneton. So we're just going to take it, you know, just relax a little bit and just see what this does. See how much uh, Pin Missile does, if it's just going to keep Shock Waving me. If it does keep Shock Waving me, we should be okay to actually tank this for a little while. Uh, and also means I can actually switch into, into Doug Trio without losing anything, because it's just going to Shockwave, I can actually tank it really nicely. So I think it's going to go for Shockwave, but be faster than this. So Terra has 120 base speed, so he, he is probably faster, I'm just going to confirm it. So Jolteon stats, very, very quickly. Just to make absolutely sure that we're not making any mistakes here. It has 130, so it is faster than the trio. That was a mistake, then. Because, obviously, if I put Terra on the field, sure, you know, the, the Shockwave isn't going to do anything because we're ground time. But once the second time hits, uh, he's probably going to Pin Missile, and we have minus defense nature, and we are pretty squishy. So, not good. I'd rather just keep Arl and keep using our Mega Drain PP. I think it's almost ending, but it's fine. We are taking this, uh, we're chipping at this Jolteon. He's still on three. And it doesn't seem he has any more healing. I think this- doesn't this have like two super potions? Or a super potion and a Moomoo Milk? It, it, it did use one super potion on the Chin Chow, right? I was kind of expecting it to see the other one on the Raichu. But if it doesn't, I'm really fine with that. Even- I'm fine even if it heals- yeah, it uses the Moomoo Milk. I knew he had one. Doesn't really matter too much. We're just gonna keep healing. We're good. We're absolutely fine. We can even honestly just switch into, um into Bell because Bell has Poison Powder and Sleep Powder, and it's going to be way better to deal with this. Also has Razor Leaf has an attacky move, but it's on a, it should honestly be a lot easier to fight than with Arl. So I think we're going to do that now that the Mega Drains are over. So let's go into Bell. Even have Don- we had Donna's backup, we didn't even use Donna so far. So it goes for the Shockwave. I don't think Pin, pin Missile should kill us, even if it's super effective. I don't think- I don't think so. We're gonna go for a Poison Powder. They keep going for the Shockwave. Shockwave crit should not kill us at this uh, HP, so we should be fine. Alright. Actually, crit kills us there, right? 23? Yeah. Crit actually kills us. I miss red. Okay, I guess we got lucky then. But now that it is poison, this is slowly just gonna die by itself. Um... I think we're good Arl. Ideally, we have Olympus on the field um, when the Magneton comes in, but I don't think that's going to be possible. It has a full heal. Oh, never mind. Really? You have a full heal? Uh, it seems I'm going to have to go for Razor Leaf. That's fine. So let's see. We have 77 HP. That did 10 damage. So crit is 20. We are absolutely fine with Arl on the field, honestly. It's Arl is definitely tankier than, than Bell. So this should actually finally take down the Jolteon in, in case we don't miss the 95% accuracy move, which I would not like it. Okay, so this means there's only the Magneton left. Okay, haven't lost a single Pokemon. Let's make right decisions here. I do 
do want, I do love the idea of a Deathless uh, Lieutenant Surge. So his final Pokemon is the Magneton. This has hidden power. I do not know which type the hidden power is. It has Thunder Wave and Shock Wave. That's all I know. Let's go for a Razor Leaf and see what he goes for. Hidden power. That's not a super. Uh, that's not super effective. It's not a fire type. Obviously, that doesn't do too much damage. So hidden power here crits us. Uh, if he crits, we die. Be going to dawn. I ideally be good to Olympus, but Olympus is pretty slow. Magneton is probably faster. If he hidden powers and just shockwaves, we probably die. So he was he wasn't healthy enough for me. Terra might be. A little bit risky because it's hidden power, not shockwave. I think we need to go into dawn here. Mm. Obviously, the psychic and the magical leaf will not do that much damage to it. Let's go into dawn though. Maybe he, maybe he thunder waves us. That would be ideal, honestly, because we do have the synchronize ability. He does finally go for a shockwave instead of hidden power. Whoa, that hurt. So it's probably gonna for it's probably gonna go for another shockwave, right? I'm gonna risk it here because my team is kind of chipped out, and this is my last play. Predicting goes for another shockwave, seeing the kill. Exactly perfect, and now we should dig, and he shouldn't have anything to deal with us. So we are faster, which is perfect. The reason why I like dig over magnitude is because dig is more consistent. It is AC 80 base power, right? While magnitude you don't really know. So this should honestly be a kill. And we did a deathless Lieutenant Surge. I cannot believe it. Lieutenant Surge is so hard. Lieutenant Surge is a pain. I think we we, we owe a lot to pickup ability, the, the person berry, the cherry berries coming in clutch. The team, very good. A very good team for Lieutenant Surge. We had a lot of ground type Pokemon, a lot of grass types, and we had Magmar for, for the Magneton, even though we didn't use them. And wow. We had an incredible team to fight Lieutenant Surge, and it still was that hard. So Lieutenant Surge is no joke. I don't even- I think probably Lieutenant Surge is even harder than Misty. I, I'm not sure. Lieutenant Surge has some crazy stuff, right? You you have the... Um, so you have the Thunder Wave, Perma Thunder Waving, your entire team, which is annoying as hell. Chin Chat with the Confuse Ray, and it, it's so annoying. And then you get into the actual damaging Pokemon, you have Manectric with such a good coverage. Has Crunch, has the Flamethrower, uh, has the Shockwave, which Shockwave is also really annoying because you can't just set up like double teams or anything, because it's a move that never misses. And then they have the, the Thunder Wave again, and then... You have Jolteon is just kind of really annoying, he just shock saves you while, while he stays alive. It's very bulky, very hard to take down. And then the right you has Surf, like really, and then has Focus Punch to, to has the Focus Punch to, to you know, work with the, the Paralyzing and Thunder Wave. It's so crazy. And then the Magneton, obviously very hard to beat. Magneton is a crazy powerful Pokemon. If you don't have Pokemon to deal with it specifically, it's gonna be pretty hard to take down. But we did it. With this team, we did it. Everyone pitched in, everyone helped, and we... Wow. I can't believe it. That wasn't even, like, any tremendous luck, right? We just kinda... Obviously, we didn't get crit any time, which is obviously very good. But there wasn't, like, any unreal advantage that we got. I think in the Missy one, we did get a lot of luck, right? Got, like, four crits. But in this one, we, the only time we got a crit was from Bell on the Chinchou, which I don't think would have changed the outcome that much. Other than that, you know, we got burned, which, which was pretty unlucky, I guess you could say. But honestly, really happy with this fight. Like, holy moly, I'm so happy with that. The, on the first attempt, it went. To, it was a disaster. We lost Breloom, and I got completely crushed. Uh, what are you doing here? Okay, this is not really interesting. Okay. Wow, so, wow, I'm so happy. This team did so well. I'm so happy about the Lieutenant Surge fight. So with that done, uh, I'm, I'm gonna stop yapping, I, I have so much to say about this fight, I'm so happy, but, um, you know, it's already 1 hour and 20, which is ugh, a little bit too much, so I'm gonna go ahead and if I end off the episode. Next episode, we are gonna go into Route 9 and probably explore Rock Tunnel, get a few more encounters, there's some really interesting encounters that I'm so excited to see if we can actually get. I'm very hyped right now because that fight went so insanely well, good job team. Yeah, that's gonna be the end of today's video, if you made it to the end. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope you did enjoy it, and I will see you next time!